The false dichotomy incorrectly assumes that a choice can be made based on only one of two options, when, in fact, alternative possibilities exist. Dichotomous thinking can keep one from understanding the full range of an issue. For instance, during the Vietnam War, the hawks and doves were both guilty of the false dichotomy. The hawks were the group that supported the Vietnam War. One of their famous claims was, America, love it or leave it. The subtext here is that if you don't support the Vietnam War, then you don't love America and therefore you should leave. It's hard to imagine a more un-American imperative given that the First Amendment defends freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, and freedom to petition government. Many Vietnam War protesters considered themselves true patriots because they considered it their duty to oppose a conflict they viewed as immoral and unjust. On the other hand, the doves who opposed the Vietnam War were also guilty of the false dichotomy. Many of them accused the returning troops of being warmongering baby killers. In fact, 40% of the people who fought in Vietnam were drafted. Of the other 60%, many served because they considered the war necessary and just. Another cross-section of troops who fought in Vietnam thought it was their duty as American citizens because they considered it a privilege to live in a democracy. How many warmongering baby killer psychopaths does this leave? Probably about the same 1% of the general population that are psychopaths to begin with. 